thing out of her experience before. <laughs> And I'm saying it's not you, it's that message Sunday. Oh the Lord give you that message. Because some coaching of figures in the church and the Lord is straightening it up in church. Um, sorry, who don't want to straighten it up? Half of them busy. That's right. The Lord not destroy your team, you know, this, you know, destroy your place, you don't give a warning. Amen. You understand, he always give a warning and then he destroy. So if you don't want to get the heed, and your business. I say sometimes all the Lord going to things you have to say, more put it up the road and up the road, more put it, you know. <laughs> if I put it on the road, but you just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The message was, I don't know who don't talk about that message. I don't, this man who made him talk is a Jamaican. He married to Audrey's auntie. Mm -hmm. And he's up here. And he come to this church from me. Come here. But we talk about that message one of the day he come to the house and we were talking about the message. You see? We were talking about the message. And it's the same message that man gave Thursday night at the church. You see? We go and live for the Lord. All we see it and I go to him and make accident. No accident now because you're covered under the bed. You're covered. I long I would mean I tell you see how long time I hear a word I remember. I remember. Every time I say me what me I would give me and say, we belong to your brother meet and preach him up. What happened? And you see, when Mr. Pastor in I suit, I say to my dear go drop the word, but we don't know. I see you. Listen, it's alright. Every time you go at um doctor. I pray, I pray, I pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.